Hey everybody, welcome to Saturday morning. <laughs> uh, this is my introduction to uh, Don't You Just Love the Plaque? Sometimes when I open my mouth, my mother comes out. It's natural. It is, at least for me. Anyway, on with the show. Uh, I put the week together in a condensed version. I'm going to see about putting clips, you know, so that it's like, well, do, dude, do you have to put 40 minutes to clip? I mean, 40 minutes to a video? Well, I'm going to put some some chapters in there so you can scab around a little bit. What do you think about that, huh? Sounds good to you? Sounds great to me. Um, so I know, I know darn well I don't want to listen to 40, 40 minutes worth of me. So just being frank. So anyway, on with the show. Buddy, today I found out that I have to read this book before it goes back to the library because I can't renew it <laughs> in three days. Today is the 23rd, Tuesday. It's due back on Friday. Can I do it? Can I do it? I was reading the other book. I'll, I'll put that that book up up here. Um, and I would rather read that book. Uh, A Court of Thrones and Roses. I th think that's the first book of... Oh, Lord. What's her... Oh, um, Sarah Moss. You know? I really like that book so far and I really don't care for fantasy I really don't but you know she's you know she's letting making uh, not making but <sighs> I'm warming up to fantasy but my point is is that yeah I have to read the survivors in three days by Jane Harper I will let you know <laughs> far I get in three days considering um uh, the the reviews are remote, you know, are you know, not remote, but they're, you know, back and forth. And it's like, okay, what have I got myself into? You know what I mean? <laughs> so I will let you know. I'll keep you abreast of um, how far I make it. Um, you'll, you'll be seeing this on, on Friday or Saturday whenever I do my next upload. Wish me luck! Now, the, this book I just completed today, it's got 75 pages, um, and the author is Roald Dahl, I believe, and this is one of many books that he's, uh, he's created, he's authored, and I really like the book. You know, every now and then you've got to get back to your your childhood, you know, you have your inner child inside of you, you know, they never grow up, you know, you can always revisit, revisit them, right, so that's what I did with this book, uh, I intend to read Charlie and the Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, probably before Christmas, or around Christmas time ish, because that's when it comes out. You know, you know, um, like for instance, when you're watching it on TV or something, that's when they do their promos for holiday stuff. And I, I plan on getting getting the book, uh, whether through the library or um, on my other two platforms. And guess what? I just subscribed to Scribd. I heard a lot of different people or other other people on YouTube saying, hey, I have this. And I thought, well, heck, why not? I'm going to try um, that and go back to, um, yeah, I was going to say Literati because Literati is right behind me. But no, um, I have that too. But um, the one thing I want to do and I actually did do is renew my subscription to Audible through Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Not only that, but I also bought three more credits. So I'm like, well, you know, eleven dollars a credit. You know, you can't go wrong, right? Right. So I did that and the other one. So a combination of both of them, perfect. I mean, it's only twenty five bucks a month. I'm like, heck yeah. You know, you spend that much money right there. You spend that much money at least for retail on any 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 book that's you know i mean for heaven's sake what was jane 
Jane is 20, uh, 28, 27 dollars 28 dollars for, for this book, the, the Survivors, which I have to read in three days. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, because it's due back to the library on Friday. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I get the, the other two books. The other two books, because I have three of them by Sarah Moss. The, the Court of Throne series. Right now, I'm reading uh, the Cor A Court of Throne and Roses by Sarah Moss. I'm reading that before bedtime, and I actually have to put her on hold to read this. So wish me luck. Wish me luck. Um, I'll let you guys know what how how far I come through by by Friday. Um, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also like, oh, can I do it because of how, how much I read in a, in a given day. And so, but this book, this is, this is a cute book. You know, you know, I suggest anybody that wants to revisit their inner child, read the book, read the book. It's, it's not that, that bad. I mean, I, I in other words, um, it's not that long. You know, you can probably do it in a, in a day. I choose to break it up into about three days, you know, because I got it on Friday. And this is Tuesday. And I, I didn't read it for like a day or so. And it's it's a cute book about, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Twit. <laughs> it's a really cute book. I'm not going to spoil it anymore. Uh, well, actually, I didn't spoil it at all. But uh, I won't spoil it at all. Um, you read the book. Uh, if you want to read your uh, revisit your inner child, we all do. As grown adults, you have to take a little time to enjoy your inner child. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, good morning. Good Wednesday morning. Today is the 24th. I wanted to make um, this video a little earlier than normal because of what happened yesterday. I wanted to read... I don't even have it in here. I wanted to read The Survivors by Jane Harper by Thursday night. So I have to return it tomorrow, on Friday. No? I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, there's one, uh, a couple reasons why that's not going to happen. Because yesterday I got done with work at 1.30. Well, there's a central time, 1.30. Uh, I started back to work at 3 o'clock. I went to the walk-in because I was starting to have a little pain in my right right lower quadrant. I was thinking it's appendix or, or question mark. So I go up to the walk-in, I get seen by pretty nice people, really nice people, and I have an x-ray done. She gives me an exam, I'm okay, they were going to do labs on me, but they figured, no, 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 we don't need to do labs. We figured it out through through the X-ray. Okay, okay, um, but we think it's because you you need to have more fiber in your diet. Okay, wonderful. So I go home. Mind you, take out my little girl. Bring her back inside, put on the evening news, or just about to watch the evening news, and I get a phone call. Doctor's office. I can't pronounce the word. I can't even pronounce, you know, it's like something to do with my appendix, but it's not horribly bad. Um, it's... It's something similar to like a 
inflammation, but it's it, it's something to just look at and consider and possibly observe. That's what I understood, even from the ER visit last night. And that was no joke. <laughs> so I get home, and she calls me up, and she says, you know, uh, I've never seen something like this ever. I'm like, well, that doesn't make me feel better. That doesn't bring my anxiety any better. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, well, you're sorry. It's not, you're, you're sorry. Not to be mean or anything, but you're sorry. It's not going to lighten the mood, change how I feel, uh, let me know everything's going to be okay. It's like, so. Good girl. <coughs> so, so I tell her I'm on my way to the ER right now. I'm taking my little girl with me, so I'm coming back tonight. I'm not staying. I'm not doing anything like that. Okay, I'll let them know that you're coming. I'll send a referral form. Whether or not the referral form actually got over there or anything else of the sort, it, it was like, you know, Irrelevant by the time I, I arrived there. They, I was a new patient. Anyway, well, we never received anything. They might have been in the back, but we never received anything. Wonderful. So I go into a room, a waiting room. After I get done with the room, I go into a room. She asked me if I want to sleep. I want to be on a bed or I want to be on a chair. I can do a chair and fine. Okay, I just want to make sure because if we have the option, I want to make you know I want to make sure um, that's available to you. Um, sure, chair is fine. So get in there. I see one, two, uh, four different medical people. Two of them being doctors or physician's assistant, whatever you want to call them. Um, anyway, um, and there's a scruffy, yeah, I, I'll call him scruffy, scruffy cocky guy that comes in there and, well, what's going on? What's going on? And the prior time to that, the, la the, the lady that was doing my labs, you know, on my right arm, she was saying, well, you're going to have to repeat everything a number of times. <laughs> I know the drill. I mean, you guys, uh, as if my... My symptoms, my experiences, anything like that, my history, it's going to change. I mean, it's like... Why don't you go, why, anytime that you go to like a walk-in or a, any type of medical, medical facility and you have to share your symptoms, your, your history, your experiences in the last X amount of days or X amount of hours that you've been experiencing this, take a tape recorder of what you, what you said to the first person. Even before you get into the room, put it into, uh, like, um, when you go to the reception and say, you know, you're going to a walk-in, start recording your voice, if you can, uh, and then when you get into the room, continue to record your voice because the, the medical professionals are going to always want to know what's going on. Because I don't know how many times I repeated myself yesterday. I was already a broken record. Okay? My point is, they did. Uh, <laughs> they did a, they did a lab 
everything came up fine. They were going to ch check out white counts. It's like, well, your white counts are fine. That doesn't mean that, so that means there's no infection. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. So on top of which, we're going to do, we're going to do a CAT scan or a CT scan. I'm like, well, wonderful. That's why I originally came in here for you guys to do. But you guys had to do all of your procedural things. Isn't that wonderful? It was like I never even went to walk in. So they did the... No, no more. You've had how many of those treats? No more. Later. 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 Excuse me. So anyway. Um, they did a number of tests for me. The labs, which came up clean. The lab. Come here. Look at her. Isn't she sweet? Yeah. She wants her treats. And she's got who already this morning? No. Behave. Anyway, um, hold on. So I have my labs, which came up clean. They finally did a CT scan on me. The, you know, the 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 lady that brought me back to the room. I'm not gonna call it my room because it was. I'm not taking ownership on any of that stuff. Well, we should have it back in a half hour. That was at six fifteen. Okay, I arrived shortly after 5 o'clock, so 6.15, okay, so at 7 or a little after 7, I'm like, you know what, this is BS, I, you know, I have a button here that I refuse because I'm like, I have patience, I do have patience, but this is, come on guys. So I ring the bell for the whoever to come. Well, you know the that nice lady that came. And in fact, that was the last time I saw her. Seriously, that was the last time I saw her. Oh my! Wow, did I piss you off? I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so da 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 da. -da. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm a human being that wants answers, and I'm not getting them. You know, you guys are giving me this runaround bull crap. Uh, your guys are telling me, well, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to test for this, that. I'm like, well, gee, where is this money coming from? Seriously, if, if my insurance company doesn't want to pony up the dough, that means I pony up the dough. Or try to see about getting some sort of financial assistance. Isn't that wonderful? So, anyway, I digress. She... So, you know, she sits down, she's trying to, she, you know, you know, um, uh, comfort me. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine. I am sorry. I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be this way, but I'd like to get home, you know, by, by a, a you know, pretty much a decent hour. You know, I mean, I do have a life outside of the ER. Not that I went into all that, but I'm like, well, I would like to get home soon. When do you think I'll get home? 8.39. I was like, lady, it's a little after 7 right now. I'm like, I know you, I mean, you work here. You, I mean, you're, that's your expectation, but I'm like, well, we have to, well, we have to, you're, you're going to have an ultrasound. What do I need an ultrasound for? Well, they didn't tell you. No, they did not tell me I needed an ultrasound. They didn't tell me anything other than having a CT scan on my on my abdominal region. 
Well, you're going to get a, a, uh, uh, um, a, an ultrasound. I'm like, wonderful. I'm glad that you told me this because nobody else in their right mind told me that. It's like, you know, I understand uh, the Patient's Rights Act of learn knowing what is going on. But, I mean, come on, guys. You're literally dropping the ball. You know, it's like, you know, keep, be, keeping the patient informed is like, you know, not dropping the mic either, dropping the ball. It's like, you know, we don't care anymore. We're going to do what we want to do. Anyway. See what I, I'm dealing with this morning? Isn't she sweet? Yeah, isn't she sweet? So, anyway, long story short, you know, I cut off the doctor. You know, when they came in, when they came in and told me that I need an ultrasound because apparently I have a dis descended. I don't know how they put this? I have a descended, at least according to what the doctor said. I have a descended bile duct, you know, by my gallbladder, right? I'm like, way to show, a way to throw fear. I don't have a more in here. No. Um, way to throw fear into a patient to make them stay. And I says, well, how am I going to go home after the ultrasound? I'm like, great, how much does the ultrasound cost? You know, how much does it cost? It's like, oh, who cares? You have insurance. Well, there's something that, you know, is out of patient responsibility and most likely I'll have to pay for or get some sort of help to pay for, but my point is, is that, you know, you're not giving me any ease right now to begin with. Well, that's not our problem. That's, that's the impression that you get? I'm like, fine. I'm pretty much at your, whatever, beck and call or at your mercy. So, what happens is that they come in, oh, they're coming in right now. What they're doing, I thought, you know, Here's where, here's where my comprehension was. I thought they were going to do this region, you know, where I was having an issue they are con concerned with. No, no. They do up here. By my, you know, by my gallbladder and bile duct. It's like... I'm not having any problems up here. I'm having them down here by my appendix area, you know, from where the, where the, um, the, the food and stuff goes from, um, fr from, um, passing, pass, passing th by your, you know, appendix area and going up. That's where I'm at. The, the concern, not up here, down here on my right side, where, you know, if you go into your large intestine, it has to go, pass through by the appendix and go up, over, down, a little over, and down to, to, through your rectum. That's the path of your intestines. A little bit after 8 o'clock, around 8 o'clock or so, guy comes back and says, CT scan came up clean, <coughs> basically, the, the, um, the, um, the ultrasound came up clean, I'm great, I'm thinking great, I don't have a problem with my gallbladder. I don't have a problem with my appendix. I certainly don't have kidney stones. You know, it's like... 
<laughs> but we're going to make a referral out to another a, a specialist. Here, look. Here, see? We're going to make a referral out to a specialist. Wonderful. So, about three hours worth of findings, and you came up with that. Well, if you have any other problems, or if this problem gets worse, please don't hesitate to come back to the ER. I'm like, yeah, sure. I'd love to spend another four or five hours here. Not a problem. Not a problem. <coughs> Do you really <coughs> think it's not a problem? I honestly think... I honestly think I have a mild form of irritable bowel syndrome. Um... A connection with that and anxiety because when you have me myself when I have a lot of anxiety um, I, I used to have the the dry the dry heaves where it's like <gasps> my anxiety builds up so bad and all of a sudden it's like oh my god <sighs> so yeah it was like every morning before I went to work, my mother was always saying, Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Swallowing hard to get, get like the bile and everything down. And it's like getting my, my, my rhythm and my pace and my composure back to where it's supposed to be. Yeah, ma uh, yeah mother, I'll, I'll be fine. It, it, this is, this is normal for me. And it's like there were times where I didn't even make it to the bathroom. I had to go into the kitchen and just do my business. And I'm like, and to me that was normal. So anyhow, um, I've I've spent you know a good twenty minutes talking about this. So. Um, I wanted to let you know what happened to me Wednesday and uh, Tuesday night um, and why most likely I won't get through the book, The Survivors, by Jane Harper. Isn't that a sweet twist? Anyway, y'all have a great day. Try to enjoy your after morning. <laughs> Voila, it's working. Sweet. Well, yesterday, today is the 25th of March. It's quarter to seven in the morning. I'm central time. Um, I've de decided, well, a last, I think it was last week and yesterday, I've decided to actually come up with a different strategy of, of my content. Um, considering my channel is Kelly Reviews. So, the basis is of reviews, right? And across all media forms. So, what I'm going to do is mix it up a little bit. Um, it might not be every single week that I do a review. You know, uh, a week in review. Not a weekend review, uh, but a week in review. Um, but it definitely will be part of one of the one of the months I mean it'll be part of the month you know it may not be the first week it may not be the last week but it will certainly be one of the weeks that I'll do a week in the review and I'm also going to do a month in review so far, so basically from the whole the whole month of March I'll probably put together um, next week I'm looking at that calendar. I'm looking at a calendar right now that's July of, what is it? Is it? Oh, I was looking at a calendar of July 2018. Anyhow, on with the show. 
So, and then also the end of the, this coming year, 21, I will put a, in the next, you know, in the last few days, I will put up a, a show or a clip, you know, um, a little collage of different things that I see a lot of people doing. I'm not following trend. I'm really not. I'm doing me. I'm doing Kelly. I'm doing Kelly reviews. So I'm going to do a, a year in review. Um, since I started this, I think in January, February, somewhere around there. So it hasn't been that long, but honestly, my my reviews uh, and my views have on my channel have gone from uh, book reviews, audio reviews, any type of reviews, basically, and also VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. And honestly, the best way to learn is to do. That's what I figured out how to, in my lifetime so far. The best way to learn is to do. So in the process, what I'm going to do, along with my doing my VBA stuff, I'm actually going to take you behind the scenes of doing all this stuff. Granted, yeah, I'll be editing here and there of what you really don't need to look at, you don't need to see because it's, a kind, well, it's boring. Um, and I don't think, maybe you have all the, all the time in the world um, and maybe, maybe, who knows? And you love seeing my pretty face. <laughs> uh, and you love hearing from me and you love seeing what I'm up to. I, I appreciate that. I do. So, um, leave it in the comments of what you would like, would you would like me to review, number one. Number two, what you think of what I'm going to do. And number three, um, I'm going to be adding more content of VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, uh, because in that techie portion of my brain, I still like, oh, yeah, Cass, Cass did that. She likes to walk all over me. What kid doesn't, right? But who doesn't like watching technology? All that kind of stuff, right? So that's what another thing I want to do. But the end of this week, um, I will add what I'm doing. Um, and well, before the end of the week, right, right now, I'm going to save this. I had three days to read. I don't have it in here. To read The Survivors by Jane Harper. It's a good read, even with the even with the comments and the and the metrics on Goodreads. It's a good read. It is. I just don't have the time nor the interest right now. Not to say I'm not going to in the future. You know what I mean. But as far as right now is concerned, I don't want to read it right now. So that one. Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. That's going to go back on Friday. The Twits that I, I reviewed, I gave it a four four star rating. It's a cute book. It's like, an, like, you know, you revisit your inner child. You know, that's what it really is. And who doesn't want to re revisit their inner child every now and then? I do. Um, I mean, back then, it was so easy. Everything was so so easy you know you remember going back in time back before there was internet back before there was cell phones what are you talking about exactly my point is is that it was such a simpler time when when regular mail you didn't have anything called email no electronic mail you you ever wonder what email was you know what the what the short short condensed means yeah it's electronic mail because well 
That's what it is. And Kath is making her little, see? Where is she? See? I know, my floor is a mess. See? Look at my little girl right there. See? Oh, if I can point to her without getting into the mirror. I mean, into the camera. Anyhow, that's that's my baby girl. And right, right there. <laughs> that's my baby girl. Um, right where my finger is pointing right now. Oops. Right. I'm trying to do this from the from the rear. I mean, from the front, from the rear. Well, technically, I look like I'm from the rear. Yeah, I am a rear. <laughs> no, no. Kathy, I have really sadistic humor, especially in the morning. Um, but right there. That's when I first got my baby. Right there. See? But she has a ring in her mouth. Oh, she loved those. She still loves those rings. But you know what? It was to help her teeth. You know? Any baby needs to teeth, right? So she needed to teeth. Oh, and she had her terrible, terrible um, crawling days. You know what I mean? When baby, when human babies start to crawl and everything else, they get into everything, and they put everything in their mouths, all right? She is no different. She wakes me up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and it's like, oh, my. Go to bed, hon. I love you. Go to bed. You're waking your mother up. Go to bed. And, you know, she always was trying to get the ball from underneath the because the, the, the dresser was in front of the wall in front of my bed and there was a TV on top of it, you know, and she's always getting that ball underneath underneath the dresser, right? So what I do is I put two two towels down there so that she can't do it no more. And she's trying to get all the towels to get the ball. That time of her her life is bye bye. <laughs> so occasionally she still does things and wakes me up at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning. It's like, can I just get back up into bed and go to sleep? Okay, you can you can cuddle up your next to your mother. That's fine. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be reading those two books right now. I'm going to go back to reading. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go back to reading Sarah Moss right now. Um, maybe not tonight because I'm in chapter eight and I really, I'm really enjoying the, that type of book right now. Um, not only that, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, how many books a month I should get, you know, because I normally have a book, a library book haul every, every month. And I already did my book haul for the library book haul that is every, you know, the month. And that's, that'll be in the middle of the month. So, um, my review, my, my weekly reviews will be coming the, the same as it has all, all the, all the time on the weekend, whether it be tomorrow, which is Friday or the, the end of the week or the weekend rather. Um, I will be doing a middle month, middle book haul library review. And then I will also be doing at least one week in review, one month in review, and then obviously at the end of the year, one 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 yearly review of where we've been so far. Um, and my and um, technically, I started this. Oh my gosh! I don't. I started my channel in 20,000. 20, I I'm still I'm still. I'm still, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, hold on. Yeah, so I will start, uh, I'll do my year in review the first couple of days before the new year. But again, if you guys want to see something, want to hear about something, want to learn about something extra, uh, just pop it into the into the comments. I always like my interaction with 
with my with the audience with with my subscribers you know we're all a family and I want to hear from you it's just not me up here it's all of you too okay it's it's a family but yeah I'm gonna continue reading this it may not be tonight but it'll definitely be you know and then pro on Friday I think uh, Friday I got for Friday I got um, I gotta do my oil change um, um, but anyway um, I'm gonna go to the library and pick up the the fourth no this the second book in the series of a Court of Thrones and then I'm waiting for the fifth one to come in from the library I would rather get it from the library than to buy it outright because you know I'm already buying enough books I mean, come on, I have two two subscriptions to Literati, the the nine to th the, the 13, 13 plus. Oh, there she is again, see? <laughs> see? Yeah, that's my, that's the love of my life. So 13, 13 to 99, and then the other one, is, it'll be coming uh, shortly, because next month, next week is the last week of March, and... I'll be in the adult subscri subscribers to the adult club of literati and I also have book of the month club so and occasionally if I really want to then I will get more books from all three so um yeah that's my that's my day that that's my, my day so far so um yeah Thanks for watching.